Hello everyone, in the last tutorial I showed you how to make a very basic bot for ordering a drink. And what I want to show you this time is how to add some more slots and uh, be a little bit more logical with how we ask some of the questions. So I showed you before how we can in create a new utterance and invoke this bot by saying I'm thirsty and things like that. And then uh, down here we have some slots. Now, in the last one I just showed you, you know, what is your name and then a drink type. Well, I've added a few more, such as like if they wanted an extra shot of espresso in their drink. And uh, I had to create a new slot type for that called extra shot. And then I wanted to see if they wanted caffeinated or decaffeinated because sometimes they want decaf coffee or, you know, a tea without caffeination. And then our sizes, we have sizes of 12 ounces or 16 ounces. And I'll just go back to the slot type so you can see how I made those. Like for the sizes, I just created a new slot type. I restricted it to values of 12 ounce, 16, and 20. And then I made different options of what somebody might actually type in for these. And then the same with, you know, caffeinated, uh, restricted values to caffeinated decaf. And then I created different ways of spelling them. And then same with the extra shot was either yes or no. Uh, and so there weren't really anything else I would accept other than yes or no. So I just did, didn't make anything too unique with that. Now, once I'm here back in my order, all I had to do was create a new slot. So I'll just show you how I added the new slot. So if I wanted this to be size, I would just pick size to hold the value. And then obviously I would choose it from here. And then I would say, what size would you like? We have 12 ounce, 16 and 20 ounce. And you can see that uh, right here uh, under size. That's basically what I did. So uh, what I did after creating that was I got to thinking, well, if um, somebody puts their name in and their drink type, if they got a tea, they wouldn't want an extra shot of espresso. That wouldn't make sense at all. I would want them to just go from ordering tea to saying, okay, do you want it caffeinated? I basically want to skip this step altogether. So what we did is created some conditional, um, more conditional logic to this. So down here in the advanced options, we can get more into depth with these slot types. And I can scroll down here to where it says uh, when I'm capturing a response, okay? So when the user provides an input, um, I can tell it to do something very unique and create what's called conditional branching. Now there's a button in here that says add conditional branching and you can start typing in some logic here. So I'm gonna start with branch one and I could create some more branches if I wanted to just by pressing add branch, but here I have branch one and I can say if drink type, which is my variable, the drink type equals coffee, then I want it to, I could have it say something, oh, you're a coffee drinker, huh? Whatever you might wanna say, but I'm gonna actually, instead of going to, um, well, I'm gonna tell it where to go. I can tell it where to go in the conversation if that matches. Now this, if you press info, it will accept different types of logic like equals or not equals, and then less than and greater than. It'll also do and and. So if I wanna do if drink type is coffee and size equals 12 ounces, you know, you could do extra conditions here. I tried or, but that didn't work. So um, I'm not gonna, mess around too much with it, but it does do the and. So basically I'm saying if my drink type is coffee, then I do want you to elicit a slot. So jump to a different slot. And then the slot that I want you to go to will be extra shot, right? So that's basically if, if they order a coffee, then they're in the category of wanting possibly an extra shot. So I'm gonna want them to go to that step. So the first branch is, okay, if their drink type is coffee, elicit the, the extra shot. Now branch two is another if question, if their drink type is cappuccino, then elicit that slot. But if their drink type is tea, then what that's gonna do is actually go to caffeinated or decaffeinated. It will skip that question altogether. Okay, and so that basically allows us to add some logic to 
our flow. Okay, so basically I'm capturing their name, their drink type. If they chose coffee, they'll get extra shot. If they chose cappuccino, they'll go to extra shot. If they chose tea, they're gonna go down to caffeine, caffeinated or not. Another thing I did was I moved my, instead of confirming, you know, great, we'll get your order, I moved that actually way down here to the closing statement. So that once I get all their slots um, filled, now I can put, great to meet you, your 12 ounce caffeinated coffee with one, or yes, extra, sh I can change how that says, is on its way, okay? And so I usually would probably want that in the closing response. So I'm just gonna test this out here. I'm gonna say, drink, great, what's your name, John? Uh, what would you like to order? Coffee. Would you like an extra shot? Yes. Would you like caffeinated? I can just type in calf, 12 ounce. There we go. Uh, your 12 ounce caffeinated coffee is on the way. I don't think I saved it since I updated this, so that's why it's just saying that. Um, I could try again. I'll start over with drink. What's my name? John. Uh, I'll do a tea this time. And notice it didn't ask me about the um, the extra shot because it just went right to the caffeinated or decaf. So I'll say decaf and I'll do a 16 ounce. Great, your 16 ounce decaffeinated tea is on its way. So that's a way that you can add some additional um, con conditions to our slots and let it kind of move around your app a little bit.